Welcome to The Clopin Effect, a retail podcast. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I'm your host, Meredith. And I'm your host, Cass. Let's have some fun. So we are already on Yay. our 18th week. Episode 18. Wow, this is crazy. I can't believe that we've managed our schedules to get together for 18 it, weeks in a row. You know what? I was never one that scheduled, <laughs> never made commitments. No. I'm I'm the meme that when people say, hey, you want to go out? I'm like, yeah, I'll let you know. And then I'm on my couch. <laughs> I'm always like, maybe. That's what my mom said when she meant no. <laughs> Steve always says that when his friends would ask him out, he would say, I would definitely try to make it. And his friends knew that meant, nope, nope. I'm watching the show. It's terrible. We're terrible. I can't believe this, but we have another guest today. Yay! Oh my God. Hi, Brianna. Hi, Brianna. Hi. Yay. Everyone's so shy at first, and then we'll just get her going. Yeah, right we'll away. get you going. No worries. At least you're not as red as Kevy was when we first oh my started gosh, talking to him. Yeah. Yeah, no, but my heart is like. <laughs> It's the, don't worry about it. It's not even, it's you're not just, live. We're you're just, just recording. Fa- you're famous now though. Yeah, so. you are famous. According to my boyfriend, I am famous. <laughs> oh, that's so exciting. How are you guys doing? We're good. Good. You oh, guys have been so together sweet. for like 10 years. It'll be five in November. Oh, And okay, Shannon so. brought you two together, right? <laughs> yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that? He'll be uh, happy to hear all about him. Yeah, I know. <laughs> about <It> was, himself. <laughs> he, this lady came up to me at the meat department or when I was in Delhi and she asked about a price. And I already had my eyes on Rob at the time. <laughs> so when I went to go check on the price, I purposely went over there versus everybody else in the deli. And I went up to Rob and I was like, hey, just letting you know your price is wrong. And he just like, get out of my department being all like snotty. <laughs> what? And then Jerk. I like ran and I was like, oh my God, I talked to him. And then like, <laughs> as like the weeks went on between another coworker and Shannon just going back and forth. Oh, that's so cute. Like, go ask Bri out, go ask Bri out. And he like finally busted through the doors. Finally. <laughs> what are you doing Wednesday? And I was like, uh, nothing. And he goes, You're like recording a podcast now. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I am. But we went to dinner. And it was like three and a half hours. Aww. Awesome. Where'd you guys go to dinner at? Sakura. Very Ooh, good. I like that. Did you get good service? That's the most important thing. Yes, actually. Did and they how give many... you like a little cake or something because it was your first date? No. You know, you can tell them it's your birthday there and they like totally light the place up and yeah. like, happy, 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 I, we happy, went happy, there happy for birthday. My, <laughs> we went there for my 23rd oh, birthday nice. and they gave me like, oh my God, happy birthday. And I was like, eh, thanks. Oh, like, it's so embarrassing. Yep. You just sit there awkwardly while they sing to you. <laughs> yep. That's the worst. But Heck I no, I don't sit there awkwardly. I'm no. like, yeah, it's my day, <laughs> really? man. I lived another day. I'm always like, oh, okay. I know. I'm just like, <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> I told my friend, my friend Todd, he hates like attention on him. And I was like, we're going to take him there for his birthday or even if it's not his birthday and just say it's his birthday <laughs> and all like his wife. And then our f- other friend Campbell was like, dude, he'll never talk to us again. Like we cannot do that. <laughs> like that's how much he hates PTSD it. You know? after yeah. it. <laughs> so how many years ago was that, that he busted through the doors? Almost five. Wow. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. great. I said 10. That's how old I am because I think everybody's been together for at least 10 years. Yeah. I, I feel mean, like it. It's like it. <laughs> it been a long time. In a good way though, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Like, oh my God, it's so natural. It's like, it's been there forever. <laughs> <laughs> so busting through these doors, what were you doing? I was did in you the middle working? of slicing oh. and helping a customer. Oh yeah. And he came in and asked what I was doing. I said nothing. He told me Wednesday. And then I stopped helping my customer and I ran <laughs> to Shannon. I was like, Hey, he just asked me out. I'm so excited. Oh my God. I was like, like, I, I need, need a to break. Go, I need to go run around the building or something. <laughs> the customer's like, um, excuse me. I need another pound of that salami. Can you come back? I'm surprised he didn't cut yourself when he busted in the doors like that. I, had to pee I was my like, pants. who was walking in my department like that? <laughs> That's awesome. So you got to work with our other number one fan because yep. you're like one of our number one fans. Absolutely. I mean, we from have the a, beginning. We have a lot of number one fans, I feel like now. Like, I don't know. She's people, she's pretty. Yeah. Kevy's not going to like that I'm saying that, but she yeah. gives him a run for his money. I know. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you're like always text, always mm-hmm. laugh, always yeah. every like, Friday. Yep. I always get screenshots of whatever you send to <laughs> Meredith. And she's like, look what Brianna sent us this week. Yeah, no, you know, it's my every day. Yeah. Every Friday, I'm like, I got a text. Well, remember yeah. when I told you, I was like, oh no, she didn't yeah. like it. The I, one Friday, I was like, what? And then yeah. all of a sudden, Monday afternoon, we were yeah. talking. I'm like, she's back. That's so funny. <laughs> I had so much to do. It was just. Everything got to my mind. I was listening to it on the way to get my nails done. And then I was like, I have to do something. And I just totally blanked. And I was like, <laughs> oh, my God, I did not text Meredith. <laughs> I love it. That's funny. We get Snapchats, texts. Oh, so, so then when, when do you usually listen? Because it comes out on Friday. So what are you usually doing when, when you listen? It's usually around between 10 o'clock in the morning when it's like my slower That time. sounds about right. It's usually before yeah. lunch that I yeah. get your text messages. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're at work then? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have my AirPods in. I'm just like, blocking everything out. I've been listening to them over and over again. Really? Like all our different ones. I did ones. that to yeah. Kevin's episode. Oh, yeah. my God. I did, too. And he's been listening to his episode. I'm like, why are these numbers so high? Because it's Kevin. Yep. He's obsessed with listening to himself. And he would always ask me, like, isn't it annoying listening to your own voice? No. And I'm like, no, not really. Whatever. You get used to it. Here he is. Yeah. <laughs> listening over and over again. I go for a five mile run and listen. And then if I notice anything wrong with the episode, like if there's like a glitch or something, then I come Stop back home it. quickly, like to, you know, re-upload it. And then and once I, it's done, it's done. And it's then there. during work on Friday afternoon, I'll sit and listen to it again, just because I want to get my laugh on. And I know. always say I'm going to wait and listen to it on the way home from work. And I'll usually go get my little Bluetooth <laughs> and I'll listen to it while I'm in one of the stores. And I'm just laughing like you, you know, yep. people are like staring at me like, what the hell? And I sent out Snapchat last week. I'm like, stop trying to talk to me. I'm trying to listen to the cloping effect. <laughs> I did that in target like three weeks ago. I was, cause I listened late. So I went to target after work and I was just laughing the entire time. <laughs> and people were staring at me. I was like, they probably think I'm weird. Yeah, that's okay. Keeps them away from you. Yeah, it does. We still need to maintain our six feet of distance, even if we are vaccinated. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I wore my mask today. I was in stores. I visited four stores I know, today. I, just I just missed, missed you. you. Yeah. Yes. And I wore my mask, but then if I would see someone I knew because I these stores know me mm-hmm. and there's not a lot of turnover in the deli department and that's where I had to go today. So I would pull my mask down and smile and be like, how are you? And then my next line would be, I'm vaccinated. Don't don't worry. Yeah, like, right. but I still wanted to wear my mask in stores as we talked about like two weeks ago Yeah, that I just feel safer with it. It's like wearing yeah. a seatbelt or whatever. What it's like not having, I know it's crazy. Out. Everyone's probably yeah. rolling their eyes at me, but mm-hmm. I just feel like I I'm just safe. Well, first but if of I all, see someone you that don't I take even, it down. Yeah. You don't even leave the house that often. So it's not is anymore. Probably weird for you now. Yeah. You know? Last year, no problem. The immune system was fine. I was in stores all last year, yeah. stocking and helping yeah. and whatever they needed reset. Yeah. Now this year with this job, it's been 12 weeks of, no, we want you to be safe. Let's get yeah. you vaccinated first. Then we'll, then we'll, you know, let you go out. So now they're letting, they're letting us out now, <laughs> quote unquote. They're allowing I'm us free. to leave the house. Yeah. So once a week, I try to get to as many stores as I can just to see what's out there. And I'm so happy that I get out there because I had four stores that I visited and all four of them needed something. Yeah. Like they wanted an item or I had to switch, you know, do a reset or switch something up. Yeah. Or so it's, I'm glad that I'm out again. You cleaned up after me. No, 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 yeah. no, no. She went to the store and did my job today. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm surprised that the deli manager didn't say anything because I walked in, I said who I was and then she remembered who I was Yeah, and I said, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, oh, okay. I mean, she seemed like she was a little bit like sick of talking to people by around She's this time. She's always like that though. But then I think she realized who I was and came back again after her meeting mm-hmm. and she was like, hey, don't leave. And then we were talking normal. So yeah. I think it was just, I yeah. hadn't been there in a while. So yeah, she remembered you then yeah. because I talk about you all the time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, well, thanks. I hope it's good. Yes, always. Of course it is. I always tell people where you went. That bitch left me. Well, sometimes I say that. (laughs) But that's only if I know them. Yeah. (laughs) I'm like, yeah, she left my ass. (laughs) She got me over here and then left my ass. So tell us about what you did at this job. So you're in Arlington Heights now. Libertyville. Oh, Libertyville. Sorry. And then, but before that, you worked at a deli? Mm -hmm. For how many years? Almost five. Wow. Okay, okay. Mm. Long time. So what'd you do there? Uh, it just basically she fucking sliced meat, Meredith. <laughs> she could have done some stocking. I just messed her. After a couple years, I started Itch. stocking. Uh, oh, so there's levels. I see. So you slice. <laughs> You're such a bitch. <laughs> So I see there's levels in the deli, like you slice Mm -hmm. and then, you know, you move up to stocking. Is that how it goes? (laughs) Then they make you come in at midnight and do inventory. Yeah. Yeah. That was mostly. I think I remember seeing you. Yeah. On a couple. I was mainly the permanent other than Shannon. Yeah. Yeah. And Drew too, right? Drew did. I did work with Drew sometimes. 
Okay. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, but he's freaking funny. Did he ever make you midnight mozzarella sticks? Yes, and pizza Ooh. and chicken tenders. And you know what? Today's his birthday. Oh, happy, happy birthday, birthday, Drew. birthday, You'll be hearing this like two weeks late. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I have to text him. Yep. I, I did this morning. Mm-hmm. I'm not friends with him on social media. Yeah, I am just starting now to add more people on social media. Yeah that I worked with. Cause yeah. when we were managers, they, I know. Yeah, we've they talked about this before it. they did yeah. the, someone would come in and say, you know, no social media. So you yeah. have to delete everyone. So now I'm just starting to add people, but I think I've always had drew. Yeah. But yeah. It's his birthday today. So yeah. Happy mm-hmm. birthday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen him in a really long time. Oh, I think the last time was when we went and worked out with you at Marine. No, oh Marine yeah. Park, we went a, park. That's right. We went for a hike. Yeah. As a matter of fact, that was his text to me today. He was like, Oh, thanks. When are we hiking? Oh When's our next gosh. hike? <laughs> I Do love you notice it. I never ask you when we're hiking? <laughs> <laughs> I stop asking. <laughs> I'm always like, Hey, bet you want to go have a beer. <laughs> was that when we went in the snow? <laughs> oh, the hill repeats. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> she hated it so much. She never I asked wonder you why I have no again. friends that want to work out with me. <laughs> You want to come hang with me? Let's go you do just Hillary kill beats. Them. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, okay, yeah, maybe next week I'll never talk to her again. <laughs> That's why I run by myself now. Yeah. <laughs> All by myself. <laughs> you know what your limits are. Yeah. <laughs> you don't understand our very small limits. <laughs> Stop. So you got some customer stories for us? Um, I've had a lady throw lunch meat at me before. Oh yes, my God. tell me all about it. I'm ready. <laughs> well, it was just because it wasn't sliced the way she wanted. Oh and gosh. she didn't tell me that. She told me she wanted it sliced on like a one, which when more deli people will understand what I'm saying when I say that. Yeah. But like some people, like she wanted it sliced so on a one. So it's one thick or thin? It's like thin. Yeah. But on the thicker side, like it's not shaped. So let's okay. go back. Okay. T- tell everyone, just for those that haven't worked in Delhi, what are we talking about? Are we talking about the knob? Yeah, the knob on the slicer. So, so it's, okay. It's like zero through 10, zero through I six. I think it's like 12. Oh, okay. Like 12, 12 was the thickest you could get. 12 was the like thickest thick. you can get. Yeah. Okay. Like an inch thick. Like very thick. Jeez. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who's getting hunks that big? So do the numbers mean like centimeters or anything, or just it's just the guide? I think it's just the guide. Yeah, okay. I'm sure it means something, but so you okay, so it's the level of toastiness on the toaster. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I always turn it off and then my family goes and makes toast and it burns. (laughs) She's like, why why is my toast always burn? I'm like, oh no, because I I put on (laughs) twelve. So she literally asked you for a one and you gave her a one and she didn't like it? Well, she asked if like for to put it on a one and I said okay and I asked her if that slice was good and she said yes so continued to slice I think it was like a pound or something yeah and I put it on the the scale and she said that's too much and it was like point one point three. Oh my and god I was like, I'm always like that's fine I was like I can take it off if you want she's like yeah please and I was like okay cool so I took it off and then like two minutes later she comes back she goes I don't want this and just Chucked it. Chucked in. it. Oh, yeah. and my I was like, mm, okay, I'm going on a break. <laughs> so, wait, you get, you put the scale label on the bag, mm-hmm. handed her the bag, and then she took a piece out and threw it at you? No, she, no, she just chucked the she whole She threw bag. the bag? Mm-hmm. A whole pound. Wait, of that's even worse. Me right? to the face. Like, I could have just used that for something else. You should have, like, deflected yeah. it so that it would, like, hit back at her. That'd be cool. <laughs> I want to <laughs> see that on the video. I wish I could have the many times. So I'll tell you how not picky I am. I went and got lunch meat from the deli the other day and I went to the place where I don't really like it because they like slice the whole chub Mm. and just have it stacked there. Mm. So you say, oh, can I get a pound of this, a pound of that, a pound of that, right? Yeah. Mm. So it's whatever it's sliced already. I'm sure you can probably ask for something and they'll get a new one and slice it thinner if you want, but whatever, I'm not picky. So I say, can I get a pound of that? Sure, no problem. It's like 1.8 pounds. I'm like, yep, that's fine. He just throws it in the bag. Okay. Yep. And then I'm like, can I get a half a pound of that? And it's like 0.93. I'm like, yep, that's fine. You know? And he's like, oh my God, you're like the easiest customer I've ever had. <laughs> I had a lot of those too. I had a really, I had a lot of favorite customers. Yeah. That I would just, the minute they walk up to the counter, I was like, I got you. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, they didn't hesitate. Because they didn't care. Mm-hmm. They were just like, just give me some meat. Mm-hmm. I told them, I go, it's mainly for my dog and my husband. So they don't <laughs> care. <laughs> One and the same. Yeah, whatever. whatever. <laughs> they eat out of the bag together. <laughs> it's funny. We never mention favorite customers. Oh. It's always. It's, it's all, always we the all, bad ones. Right? We talked mm-hmm. about that yeah. before. Because you always remember the bad ones. You yeah. always remember the bad ones. Yeah. But you had a lot of favorites? Yes. Or, oh, that's great. See, I have. 
Because people faith are loyal. in our area where we live now. Yeah, from they're that. loyal to mm-hmm. their deli. Yeah. Yeah, yeah true. They yeah. are. They are. Yeah. So this lady that threw the bag at you never helped her again, never nope. came back, never saw her. No, nope. I saw her a couple times, but I wouldn't help her. No. Yeah. I just. You'd be like, what number time. do you have? 87? 88? <laughs> <laughs> Basically. And then you switch the number so she's just yeah. completely missed by everybody. Yeah. I have 87. Oh, sorry. We must have missed you. Someone will be with you <laughs> next year. <laughs> we have to go all the way around again when yeah. we miss. <laughs> yeah. We're going to start at number one. <laughs> number one. Anybody with number one. So yeah. I remember, I just remembered a story actually. And I think we probably could have mentioned it like last week with our mystery yeah. guest. Yeah. But I remember there was a person that worked in Delhi. I don't know if it was before you or not. But her favorite customers would walk up, and the reason that she had favorite customers and they were she was their favorite was because she would hold a couple pieces, hit the button, the PLU, you mm-hmm. know, the four code or six code, yeah. and have the labels start printing off, and then she would throw those pieces oh. on and then bag it. She'd and give them like an extra she'd, quarter you pound. Know, yeah, which, yeah. <laughs> yeah, which I would say is, okay, so first of all, it was wrong. I'm just going to say yeah. that, but I it's would stealing, say but- it's... Similar to, do you want this piece? In the beginning right. that they used to do. So right. instead, back then, she would kind of hold a couple pieces. It wasn't like a lot, but I'm, I think she got let go for it, actually. It was your couple pieces you were going to eat while you were walking around. <laughs> right, so why charge you for it? <laughs> Granted, I always right. just put it in the bag after they weighed it, then took it yeah, out and exactly. ate it, but whatever. Yeah, you know. I, I remember that. She might have been before you, though. I'll have to tell you who she was when we get who off was here. Who it? <laughs> say it no um so do you do (laughs) anything like that for your favorite customers or were you like pretty legit i was pretty legit because shannon was always watching me (laughs) (laughs) so the minute i like did anything i was like she ran yeah shannon's like yes train her right (laughs) that's why you worked there for so long yeah because you got trained by the right person yeah that's true that's true she's definitely the best yeah Yeah, i heard she's doing amazing at the the new place she's at yeah Mm -hmm. i bet she is making some changes Yeah. yeah Good I'm for her. Sure she's I knew she'd cracking the it whip out. over yeah. there. Yeah. Good, yeah. good, good. She's closer to me now. Ooh, oh, nice. You live out there? Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Do you ever stop in? No. Oh, you have to. You I better go see to. her. Well, now yeah. that she's there, I'm definitely going. Yeah. yeah. I already texted her. I was like, I'll come, I'll come see you. Yeah. yeah. And plus, there's Starbucks there. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah. There is. Mm-hmm. Now there's really an excuse to go there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Love me some Starbucks. What's your favorite yeah. drink? I usually get the matcha pineapple that they have. Oh, I never had that one. It's my favorite. Is that made with like coconut milk too? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? I might have to try that. It's so good. Because you know, I just got hooked on the guava <laughs> passion fruit coconut milk. I don't Ooh, know I've if you tried that. Tra- no, I haven't. It's like a pink starburst. Oh, wow. Oh, those are my favorite. Try, try that too. Yeah, so good. I like Everybody all the go refreshers. Try and oh, yeah. Sometimes I'm just yeah. not in the mood for coffee, yes. but it's like my car drives to the Starbucks. Yes. You know, it's like, it's just <laughs> like, Well, pilot. half of the yeah. stores I go to have one in it. So I'm like, oh, while I'm here. Well, what should I try? Might as well. Yeah. Yeah, there's one five minutes from my work. So I'm just like, oh, I'll be late for yeah. work. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have to clock in at your new job or are you just like, it's yeah, a nine to five? Yeah, no, you I still got to clock in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How long have you been at that job? It'll be two years this month, actually, May 13th. So did nice. you leave Delhi? And then come back once? Yes. I thought so. Yeah. Okay. You tried something else. Yeah. And it came back. Mm-hmm. And then you went to this other yeah. pharmaceutical company. Yep. Okay. So what do you do now there? What are I your tasks? I am in purchasing. So I get with vendors. And you have I to just, deal with customers then still, kind of? Uh, Not really. Just no. Just more like the HR sometimes Ooh. at like the bigger vendors. But oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's just buying medications. Oh. You ever do like one for me, one for you? and uh-huh. No. Uh-huh. <laughs> As much no. as I like to. <laughs> no. Whatever. So did you ever have to deal with, I know we've talked about them before, is the gypsy family. No. They would like purchase party platters and then try to return them. Or I'm going to be really mean in this one, but I mean, it's what we called her because it's, it, it is what it is. She was the bearded lady. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so I you had, know who we're talking about. Yes. I knew she would know who that was. Mm-hmm. Because she used to order party platters and be like, oh, I'm having a birthday party for my kids. Yep. She would come, pick them up, buy them, and then immediately turn around, come up to the service desk and return them. So she did that with the cakes, too. Yeah. That's the same family. Yeah. They yeah. would eat three-fourths well, no, the of the cake. Well, the gypsy and the bearded lady were Oh, that's two. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought yeah. that was the mom you yeah. were talking no. about. So, oh, no. I'm sorry. So I don't know <laughs> what we're talking about. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like asking Brie, oh, you know what we're talking about. Wait, I don't oh, know what we're talking God, about. No. I don't know. You might not have been there for the bearded lady. She had like a couple kids. Mm-hmm. 
She would always stash things under her children. So she oh, was mama really? and papa? Yeah, I never knew that. We figured out that's what she was doing half the time. So you'll have to cut this out, but I... <laughs> <laughs> or not. <laughs> Cue the music. <laughs> We, you know, th- I always knew there was something funny about that lady. Mm-hmm. And you just said that she used to stash mm-hmm. stuff under her cart. But she was just the weirdest. And, like, she never had food stamps. You know what I mean? Like, she didn't have, like, the link card. So I'm thinking, why do you order this stuff just to turn around and return it? Wow. So I think we finally cut her off, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think when Shannon said, like, if you see this name... Like if she don't even bother don't making even, it, don't make it, don't do anything. And if wow. she comes up, you just be like, oh, sorry. Yeah. Like you don't. We don't do platters anymore as you're handing it to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> we stopped making yeah. those. <laughs> Number 88, here's your party platter. <laughs> so no I have more 87s. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was awesome. Well, if you 86 something in the restaurant business, that means <laughs> you, you're out of you're it. You're out of it. <laughs> Okay, um, did you guys restart the counter every morning? Yes. Okay, so that literally was how many customers you helped during the day, right? Mm-hmm. So on a weekend when it was on 125, I would be like, Jesus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, crazy. No, that's a lot of people. Um, I remember when we opened a new store in Crystal Lake, and I came in in the afternoon, and it was like, th- it was a three-digit one, so it was like 250, let's just right. say. I don't know the exact number. Yeah. I said, oh, wow, you're on 250 already? They're like, no, we already did that three times over. Oh like, that's how God. busy that store was. Yeah. I was like, that is a lot of freaking customers that's wanting crazy. lunch me. That's basically a Sunday. That's that, Yeah, crazy. wow, 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 mm-hmm. wow. That's, that's a crazy. lot of people. I don't know. How can you even? I'm so happy that they have the grab and goes now. I walk oh, up. Oh, yeah. Whatever they have to offer me, yep. that's fine. It's all that's salami. How, that's fine. That's how unpicky we are. Uh, it's so unpicky. <laughs> yeah. I, I would not, I do not want to wait. As much as I love to see some of the people that I still know right. working over there, right. forget it. Grab and go. And yep. they're not, because they're not going to have time to talk to you anyway. So, no, what's I know. The point? Yeah. Although I will, like, I'll take advantage if I see somebody that I used to know, work there with, whatever. I'll sit there and talk to him. Mother <laughs> my you knee. know what I did last week? <laughs> I started walking up and I realized that it was like quarter to seven and they've already been cleaning. Like all the pieces were out of the case. They must've been doing like a deep cleaning. Yeah. And I started walking, like I had a bright smile, <laughs> you know, I'm like, Hey, and, they were like and you could see them. Oh yeah. You could see them all looking at me. Like, oh shit. We just cleaned all our slicers. And I was like, I'm going to go right over here to grab and go. And oh she just kind of did like, a, you know, that, that meme of that little kid that goes, Ooh, and he turns <laughs> yeah. around down the hallway. I totally did that to the grab and go case. I was like, all oh, right, that's fine. Funny. I'll be nice. That's a good customer. That's yeah. good customer service, Meredith. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's because I was on the other end of it for so long. Yeah. The shit end. So did you ever keep track of like how many times that thing, the counter rolled over in a day? Like, do you have like a record number of customers that you guys helped in a day? I don't think so. Cause I tried to, and it just got too overwhelming yeah. trying to remember like <laughs> who I was helping and like what they needed and then the numbers, so. <laughs> you know, knowing Drew and we see him again next month when he That's comes on with his sister, he's yeah. going to be like, yeah, there was one day that was 742 yeah. I yeah. because I marked it on the board. Yeah. <laughs> I put it in the, I put it in the slice. Yeah. Anyway, you slice it. <laughs> He'll oh, absolutely funny. know. That's oh, yeah. so funny. He'll be like, tell Bree it was. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. And he's got a really good memory too. Oh, unbelievable! Sorry to bring up oh, Drew it's unbelievable on your, on it's your okay. show, but it was great. He can like, he gives me the craziest facts about things, mm-hmm. and like, I'm not going to Google it. I'm going to take his word for oh, it. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know? He is Google. Yeah, he is Google. Yeah, it's it should crazy. be called Drugal. <laughs> I just call him for oh, everything. No, I'm sure there's things he doesn't know about. I'm like, there open a things. web browser or call his number. I call his number. <laughs> hey, Drew, remember back in 2014 <laughs> when we both worked at that store and it was nine o'clock on a Saturday and we were helping customer number 88. <laughs> and he'd be like, oh, that's right. Cause 87 was a bitch. Yeah. And he'd be like, yeah, it was pastrami. <laughs> And they wanted a half a pound. Yeah. And then they ordered cheese after that. Yeah. And then they wanted damn shaved ham. <laughs> Don't miss the shaved stuff. My husband said something about shaved ham the other day because he was like, yeah, get some lunch meat, this and that. And I was like, all right, what do you want? You know, and he's like, Ooh, shaved ham. And I'm like, nope. <laughs> we don't do that in this house. Nope. Does Oscar Meyer make that? We or can we get that off the wall? Yeah, we do not do shaved meats in this house. It's slices. Yes. It's number one. Number one. <laughs> Is Nothing that what's, less. what's like the average slice you think? About a one. Yeah. A little under sometimes, but like just a one. 
So I would help out in stores, but usually when I would help out, it was like to help them recover from having no one there yeah. or a long weekend or something. So when I would go in, I would slice real fast, like, you know, fill their grab and go help a couple customers, just have them catch up. And the next day I would be so sore. Did you have days like that? Yes. Yeah. I mean, you're way younger than me, but. Mm -hmm. yeah, Is it no. swinging the arm? It's back the and forth? arm. Yeah. Yeah. And like school, going in the cooler and like lifting and like going to the bottom of the shelves and lifting like the crocus ham or something. Yeah. Those things are yeah, like it's a big piece. And a yeah. It's a big piece. And then they have the netting Squatting on them, right? Hams. So don't you yeah. have a customer? Wait, do you know how this is with Crocus no. Ham? So I don't go ahead in the deli. Tell her about it. They're just very much vacuum sealed. Yeah. So like trying to cut it open, it's ridiculous. Yeah. I know that I've tried to open it and there's some kind of red mesh on there underneath the plastic now. Oh. I don't know if it's now or if it was back then. And so you're trying to cut it and you're like looking for scissors, your box cutter yeah. that you've been using for stocking. You definitely don't want to do that. Oh my God. <laughs> but you know, you What's have a knife. Smell, or... Manila. <laughs> <laughs> but it is, it's annoying because then you got this customer watching you and you always feel like you're on stage, yeah. don't you? Yes. It's very intense. Because they're just standing yeah. there tapping their toe, like yeah. waiting, like, I hope that's not too thick. <laughs> If it is, I'm going to throw it in your face. <laughs> they will. <laughs> you do feel like you're on stage, though. You yeah. Don't you always feel like you have to smile? Or blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. That's how I felt cashiering, though, too. Yeah, like, People are standing there waiting. I made it a habit of I pay attention to the customer in front of me. I could care less who's behind them. Yeah, right? yeah. You know, like Focus I might, on like, who's in front I of might you. give them an eye contact and acknowledge, but I can't tell you how many times I'm so focused on this customer in front of me. The next person in line, like, I knew, like, they were either, like, you know, my husband's family or mm -hmm. somebody, just a regular customer. And they were like, I was standing there waiting forever for you to look at me. I'm like, sorry, I only take care of the customer I'm taking care of. Yeah. You know? like, were you like that too? You didn't care who was around? Nope. You know, I was, was like, just if focused I know on. You, I will talk to you when I am done. Yeah. I have like the sole purpose of just helping yeah. this person. You know, I have a question for you. So I noticed this in some delis. It could just be the person working, but they would look at the customer and they would say, let's just go with Crocus Ham. Half a pound of crocus ham. So you get the crocus ham out if you have to get it from the cooler so that you got a couple minutes that you're waiting, right? And then they repeat it again. Okay, half a pound mm -hmm. crocus ham. Is there a reason that you do yeah. that? To make sure that that's what they said because some people will be like, no, I said three quarters. And you're like, yeah. okay, well, I heard a half. Yeah. So we just make it to reassure. So why does that I have noticed happen? that people will ask me like three times, like you said a half pound, and then they still give me 0.9, and I'm like, yep, good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Clearly, I look hungry. I don't and I'm care. Some Just doing give me my some job. meat in a bag so yeah. I can move on. <laughs> yep, exactly. So, okay, so I'm wondering about that because customers must switch it up, right? Yeah. Or they, because you say a half a pound, well, and I they... hear them say it again, half a pound. Okay, mm -hmm. half a pound, half a pound. Are they going to tell you to weigh a quarter pound and then put the put it all in there, or you know what I and mean? And how like... often do they switch? Sorry, I mean to interrupt you. No, but you're how, fine. And how often do they switch? Depending on the person, I've had a couple of people switch it up on me, and I'm like, okay, well, yeah, you told me a half pound, and I, of course, I didn't reassure them. That's yeah. what I was slicing. So. Yeah. And would they act like you were the one wrong? Mm -hmm. Of course. Customers, customers always. always like... ready. And then what yeah. was your question? I'm sorry. I don't remember. <laughs> okay, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't think it was a question. I think it was a statement. Oh, it was a great one, by the way. I, I know, because I said, like, I do feel like they asked me like three times. Oh, yeah, right, mm -hmm. right, right. You know, and I'm just like, yeah, yeah. Do, do you want me to say it again? You're going to give me a pound anyway, so whatever you want. <laughs> How good were you? How accurate were you? After like a year and a half, I would say I was pretty accurate. Yeah. Depending like you on knew. The, yeah. Depending on like how thick it was, too. I was going to say, because does different meat weigh differently or cheese. Yeah. You know, so like you could do like, even if everything was on a number one, would it be like 12 slices of cheese compared to 16 slices of meat make mm -hmm. one pound, you know? Yeah. Does that make sense? And our cheese is different. Like you have white cheddar and then maybe pepper jack. Does pepper jack weigh more because of the peppers or less? I don't know. <laughs> no, um, it's more of the pepper jack. It's a little more I'm really crumblier. Into this. So. Well, say it again. Cause more. she's too busy laughing over here. <laughs> it was a little more crumblier. So depending on which like, one. The pepper jack. Pepper jack. It's crumbier. Okay. Yeah, crumbier. Crum crumbier. Crumbier. Oh, wait, say it again. Crumbler? Crum crumblier. I can't even Crum say it right now. <laughs> crumblier. <laughs> crumblier. Okay. Thank sure. you. We'll go with that. Crumblier. Yeah. I don't like that it's word. It's more crumbly. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> we'll just skip it the crumbles. word. It crumbles. It crumbles. All right. So I'm never ordering that because I don't yeah. want to make a mess. Well, it's no. also depending on the brand. Oh, okay. Okay. Which one's the best? Um, I don't remember the brand. Probably the oh. store brand. Dietz and Watson or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Dietz and Watson had the best cheese. 
Did they? they do? Oh, have. I was just gonna say, is Deets and Watson really the best? Oh yeah, they are really good. by far the best meat I've ever had or cheese. The only thing I really got Deets and Watson was like, like the um, roast beef. Oh, Their number one is yeah. the uh, low sodium chicken breast. I think that's oh, really? the number yeah. one, isn't it? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, or low sodium turkey. Weird. Something they had yeah. it both. Yeah. Our, everyone one, orders it. And if it's on sale, that's all you oh, hear. Yeah. Especially when it was like six ninety nine a pound. Yes, that's that would be all oh, you hear. We the had low sodium sure chicken breast. Low sodium chicken. I don't breast. like paying more than five ninety nine a pound for anything. Yeah. If I do, it's decent. I don't even look at the pricing. Beef. I maybe we'll look at see what's sales. On sale. yeah, yeah, and maybe you know if it's like the store brand that's sto- you know, but may, I don't know. See, but I always like the store brand better than Jenny O, and I think oh. Shannon told me that. Yeah, yeah, Jenny O, did not the best. No, no, no. oh, it was poor gross. Jenny, <laughs> that's gross looking. <laughs> she had this whole big dream, oh. and her stuff is shit. Well, yep. she shouldn't have let it go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> she should have stopped cutting oh, corners. Oh, Jenny, <laughs> <laughs> cutting corners. <laughs> Those Jennies, I tell you, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, I'd always get the store brand. It was always on sale too. Have you ever cut yourself? Oh yes, god, twice. Like bad, like stitches. No. Ugh. Why do we invite her? I think you actually. No helped. Helped. <laughs> I think you helped helped me the first time I cut myself. Really? Did yeah. I? Was I nice to you? Yeah. Okay. Good. Phew. Obviously, she's here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we should have been like, I'm not listening to that bitch's podcast. She was mean to me when I had to fill out an accident report. I always ask people that. Yeah. There's someone that works in in the Wisconsin stores, and she walked up to me when I started working at the job yeah. that you're at. Yeah. And, and she was like, you don't remember me? I worked at blah, blah, blah. And that's where I met you. I'm like, oh, my God, was I nice to you? Oh, she's like, God. yes, you were nice you're to nice me. You're nice to everybody. I don't even know why you would Wait, question that. Wait, that one time, though, that you're not, because you're like, ugh. And then that mm-hmm. you see that person again. You that know? person will avoid you. You call them an 80. 87, you know, it's like <laughs> 87. I'm going to use that from now on. I know, 87. 87. Yeah. They're going to be like, what does that this mean? Episode. You're, that, 87. you're 87. You're 87. You're 87. We just named it. <laughs> Perfect. We don't like you. You're 87. You've been 87. <laughs> I can say that. I can't say crumbly lear. <laughs> crumbly I can't say it. I'm not going to attempt it. <laughs> the saying it in my head is all jumbled. Crumbly she, I don't know if she worked with you or not. Once again, I don't know if it was before you, but she said that everyone would fight over the good looking customers. We Come would up. run up to the deli. I would See, run up to I the didn't counter. have a choice. They came to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But not, Woo! not like that. No. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I didn't have a choice. Either they came to me or they didn't. You know? <laughs> but everybody knew I was fast. So. They showed up is yeah. what you're saying. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, you again? Hey. <laughs> There was one guy that would always come through my line now that I think about it. I never thought about it. I didn't think he was that good looking, but I could see how people would think he was. Yeah. And plus you were fast. You were so fast. He was, was probably like, fast. you know, yeah. just wanting to get and stuff he done. He would always only have a few things. Yeah. And he would like wait in line. Yeah. For you. For me. Weird. You're, you're it. <laughs> you're, weird. you're it. That's weird. Nobody likes us. <laughs> So do you like your face turn red or did you forget anything when these, these both good looking people would show up? Both. Mm. Cause we would take the, I would take the order. Like if I beat them, anyone else to it, and I'd go in the cooler and just completely forget. <laughs> oh my I'm God. Like, what did he want? And I don't want to be stupid and like go ask him again. So I and you're like, like was that there. yellow American or what? <laughs> you know, and you could probably take any chub and slice it up. Like mm-hmm. as long as it was turkey or chicken or beef, like they wouldn't know. Are you like, how much do you want in your number, please? Ah, <laughs> you write your number on the bag. Yes. <laughs> if I was able to hold a left, pen. Uh, left yes. a little something in there for you. <laughs> <laughs> a little slip of wax paper with your number on it. It's all greasy from the meat. Yep. Is that a three or an eight? Three or an eight? <laughs> He's dialing all different ones. <laughs> Is this the deli girl? They're like, who the hell is this? You've reached She's the reject to the hotline. Yes, it's me. It's me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Gotta take a break. I just fed them vegan beef jerky. I'm still chewing on it. I Actually, it, it, they call it vegan jerky. It's marinated and seasoned. It's barbecue. It got stuck to your teeth. There. <laughs> <laughs> I finished my piece, but they're still eating. It's just made out of soy, tomato, brown cane, sugar, spices, garlic, sea salt. Rice it's spicy. vinegar. It's so uh, spicy. Yeah, it's got a little spice at the end. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like it. It like really it. tastes like jerky. It's good, though. Yeah, it's not bad, right? Mm-hmm. Amazon, I think it's Amazon. actually better than regular jerky because, mm-hmm. like, the sauce on it. 
is saucy. Actually, I heard a couple people, because of how they were feeling, they wanted to go vegan. So I'll just say it's called Noble Jerky. N-O-B-L-E. It's pretty good. It's good. I got it from Amazon. I'm a meat eater and I approve. Yeah. Same. Not bad. Hmm. I like it a lot. Yeah. So what's the number one item that you would always slice? Can you Navarro remember? Navarro salami. What is it? Navarro salami. Oh. Or that's what I get oh. every time. That's what I is get. Is it cheap? It's always on sale for like four ninety nine or five. That's why it's under that yep. five ninety nine mark. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm. And it lasts in your fridge for like two weeks compared to oh, yeah. okay, like other deli meat. No, one week. I only at the most. Dude, right? I'm like three or four days. Yeah, because it's so as soon as it starts getting yeah. slimy, you're done. Yeah, I'm done. Right? Yep. Then it's the dogs after that. Mm-hmm. I don't even eat it. Nope. How long do you keep lunch meat in your fridge for? If it lasts about four days. Yeah. So then say you don't go to the deli and you get like prepackaged meat. Mm -hmm. Do you do that? Sometimes. You'll do that sometimes? Yeah. And how long? I know. And I'm same way. Like after I open it, like three, four days. Nope. It's dogs. Yeah, no. If I had a dog, I'd give it to him. Yeah. But I have Rob, so. (laughs) (laughs) You don't don't have a dog? No. You need a dog. I want a dog. Do you have a cat? No. I'm allergic to cats. Yeah, you need a dog totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I technically have dogs, but they're my... He won't. He won't. <laughs> we had to watch my dogs for six months after we moved into the house, and it just ruined that was all enough. my chances. Uh. Really? <laughs> yeah. Because they're old and smelly, and they bark at nothing. What he does just, he do? He's IT at a oh, school. Okay. Because he used to work in the meat department, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all moved on to bigger and better, huh? Yeah. yeah good for you. Mm-hmm. Did you Did you go to college? Or you're kind still of. going? Yes, kind of. Okay. I went for a little bit for business, and then I just. Decided to focus more on myself yeah. and try and get my career going. Mm-hmm. And then I was going to go back. And what about Rob? He got his degree in game design at DePaul and then he went to MCC for IT. Oh, wow. Nice. Excellent. Mm-hmm. IT Very is good. definitely a job. You know, I mean, definitely. Every company needs an yes. IT person. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. If yes. not persons. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially all these things getting hacked lately, right? So oh, our yeah. oil got hacked and now our meat got hacked. I don't understand that. Mm. I'm not, I don't, yeah. It was like a meat company. It's I like, so that. now we're going to have like, I don't want everybody to freak out and buy meat now. <laughs> okay. This is why I buy noble jerky. <laughs> there you go. There you go. But the, is somehow that company got hacked. So they said there's not going to be a shortage. There's just going to be some, like, issues with distribution maybe for a little bit, you know. So, mm. But it's not, I don't even think it was – well, maybe I'm, I could be totally wrong. Don't quote me on this. But I am not even sure it was, like, one of our largest. But it must be pretty important if they're talking about it on the news. But oh, man. Don't go out and panic by, you jerks. <laughs> I bet you'll hear about it, though, just because you represent so many companies. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. If the country goes off-grid – for like a week and like we don't have electricity it's gonna be super panic like Mm -hmm. people are gonna be gouging each other's eyes out like Mm -hmm. i'm completely the purge uh, yeah i'm completely prepared to board up my house lock myself in let yeah yeah Mm -hmm. let the anarchy happen yeah you know so this just got super dark anyways (laughs) let's talk about some terrible customers It's those terrible customers. Hey, thanks for joining us. Yeah. Uh, this is yeah. a little bit weird. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm just trying to be prepared. <laughs> I got my beans and rice. <laughs> I don't need no stinking toilet paper. That's oh what washcloths are for. <laughs> Okay, so um, I like to bring up something driving. You don't have to drive far. No. I always talk about driving. I'm proud to say I haven't had a, hit any speed humps lately. <laughs> yeah. I thought about you today. I visited four Did stores in the city. No, I thought one? I was oh. going to because I saw like the yellow and I'm like, oh, God, it's not going to end yeah. well because yeah. my car's low to the ground. Yeah. Yeah. And I immediately thought of you. I'm like, oh, this is going to be oh, a story. God. And then there was no speed. No. There was no speed hump. No. I was like, oh, all right. So I just want to say that everybody who drives an F-150, generally a white one, they drive like they have a suspended license. And everybody who drives like a Chevy Sonic or <laughs> like a VW, yeah. like like our friend's car or like anything little mm-hmm. or a Jeep, they drive like they have nothing left to live for. <laughs> <laughs> like, is that not true? That's definitely true. It's all the F-150s are like the work dudes that like 
have suspended licenses mm-hmm, or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. They got 12 DUIs. <laughs> <laughs> and then these you got these Wranglers that are just like crazy. <laughs> and I'm like, it's not a mountain. You're not, you know, yeah. impressed. We're not off roading here. We're all just going to work, you know. Yeah. It's I crazy. Every morning. Yeah. Speed limit's 45. I got people passing me going like 70. I'm like, oh, yeah. Okay. The one time I go 60, I get pulled over. Uh-huh. So, mm-hmm. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. So today Did I was driving. 80? to Broadway in the city. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there's this awesome merge that merges those middle lanes on 94. Yeah, yeah. And then the right lane ends. Yes. Mm -hmm. So there's this ginormous truck that has probably never driven this before. Oh, no. Yeah, right. And he realizes that he has to merge, and there's all these cars in the lane next to him. Oh, no. He just starts going over. Yeah. Like, I'm going. I watched my blinkers on and I'm either going to hit the concrete or hit the car. Uh And there was a car that was fighting him. Yeah, of course. I thought that he was so close that this little car was smaller than mine was going to go under the truck. Yeah. And then they finally, they either finally realized or playing chicken finally gave up and moved over and cut off another car. I'm like, Mm -hmm. Oh, this is it. This is why I hate driving into the city. And I watch stuff in front of me every day. Oh yeah. I just kept backing up, backing up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give them room. Yep. Let the crash happen. Well, because if I have to go over a tire, you know what I mean? Like, I got to know what's going to happen here. Have you seen that video? It's a guy's dash cam, and it's like they're on like a four-lane highway, and there's like a a semi goes past, and a tire comes off of it, and there's a van right behind it, and the van goes up on the tire, and then like, boom, flips over. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's crazy. Do you know what I was just watching? You know how you get on like Facebook videos and yeah, all yeah. that or TikTok, TikTok probably for yeah, you. I watch TikTok. I so too. they have dash cams. I don't know what country it was. Maybe yeah. Japan or They're I'm not all sure. Over. They're like Russia, Poland, Japan, okay, maybe, everywhere right. in Asia. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yes. So it wasn't in America, yeah, yeah. but it was somewhere else. And they had these dash cams on everything, buses, trucks, yes. right? Yes. Because even if they're going slow, people will jump on the in hood of their of car for oh, insurance. Yes. And then they yes. just like look at them like really, yeah. and then the person gets up and realizes they have a camera and kind of shake their hand yeah. and like go the other way. I'm like, this really happens. Yeah, you know. So I remember hearing about it like when I was younger. Yeah, that people would you know break check people or you know be at a stoplight and just throw it in reverse and boom and say that you ran into yes. the back of them. Don't do that, listeners. Right? So I thought, okay, you know, like I don't have to worry about that anymore. Well, I was watching TikTok the other day and this guy has a whole account of them. Wow. Of people just throwing on their reverse lights and backing into them. And it's like, oh, well, good thing I have a dash cam. Wow. Like, I really want to get they a dash find, cam. I'm wondering, as soon as they find out he has a dash cam, do they just kind of like, whoops, no. sorry. They Real. still like try to blame it on them. And you, you know? can see the reverse lights. Yeah. That's it's crazy. crazy. Like these people have to go to court and like fight it and like bring their, you know, bring their footage and like, oh my no, gosh. I didn't run into the back of her. She backed into me, you know? Oh my gosh. That's so crazy. Oh, people are crazy. They are. They are crazy. Kayla knows. I, I drive around and I go, y'all are wild. That's my thing. I say yeah. all the time, like y'all are wild. I can't believe this. This is crazy. You mm-hmm. guys are crazy. I used to be a very aggressive driver. Very aggressive. Not me. Like I I'm sure the kids too. know, like I was the one that would be brake checking. If someone, if I can't see your headlight headlights yeah, yeah you're yeah. way too close to right, me and yeah. i would hit my brakes yeah and you could hear the person behind like squealing yeah i did get hit once from it yeah i i was like i can't i couldn't i could barely even see his steering wheel yeah. he was so up on me i know that i, I, hit, that. I hit my brakes my son was with me he came out he was banging on my window i called the cops yeah I'm like this guy's gonna beat me up i don't yeah. know he hit me i played like that but yeah. whatever what yeah. and then i realized that he only lived like Two roads down from me. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, but for him to even react that way too. Oh yeah, he got like, the ticket, and then I, you know accident. how you get a copy of the ticket. I looked at the address. I'm like, oh crap. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Hey neighbor. <laughs> and then after my that, neck, I was like, my eh. neck is kind of messed up. Yeah. No, I never did that. <laughs> but I mean, we were trying to merge, and he was like up on me. I'm yeah. like, no. Yeah. No. And I hit the brakes because actually another car was not letting me through, I and do. he just was too yeah. close and hit me. Sometimes I am an asshole when it's merging, and I'll be like, no, you're not coming in. Yeah. yeah, you had all that yeah. time to merge. Yeah, now you're waiting yeah. to merge right. it. Like <laughs> Which technically now. they say is better because it's supposed to be zipper. Yeah. Oh, and people don't you know? zipper though. Two cars will go for every one, and then right. they, you don't have the zipper. Yeah. Well. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I'm pretty patient, so I'll just wait in line. Yeah, me too. Me too. I don't care. I get we're to the lane get that everyone's merging into, right. and yeah. I'll wait the extra five minutes and let a couple people in. See, and, that's and they it say because... that's bad. They say we should. 
one, all one, the one, way one, up yeah. to the front, yeah. you know, equally because then we zipper. But but, but in it the mentality is yeah. you're trying to get ahead of me. Everyone wants exactly. to be ahead. And but, I don't you know. care because I know that I leave with plenty of time to get where I'm going. So I don't care. Mm-hmm. Go in front of me. <clears throat> yeah. I always leave like two car lengths in front of me because I did have like a five car pileup. That was my first and knock on wood accident, knock mm-hmm, on wood. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was like, I had time to get out of the way, but this guy behind me was going to just run right over me. So I said, F it. And I just ran into like these other four cars. Yeah. That had already oh piled my up. gosh. That is so scary. And my mom was like, you were following too close. And I was like, I will never follow too close again. <laughs> <laughs> My life. I do. I stay back now. I let everybody yeah. else go flying. So do I. With it. I. You know, I do have to say something, though. This what? is another thing I just thought of today. What? So I was driving behind a car, and we were coming from a road onto the highway. Yeah. And I thought to myself, this car is going to get us killed because yeah. they would not go over 40. Right. People That's are doing 65, 70 on this highway. 90. And I'm thinking, and They're there's trucks, 90. trucks, trucks, obviously yeah. in the right lane, right? And I'm like... Well, okay, this guy's going to get me killed. Yeah. And they just wouldn't uh, go anywhere. Yeah. 40, 40, 40. And the truck's beeping. And I'm like, and it wasn't even an older person. Like, usually I'm like, okay, maybe it's an older person It during the day. Yeah. During the day, it's their time. So you try to be patient. It was like 10 o'clock. I'm not even going to tell you what Cass is doing right now. We're just going to let y'all guess. You're like, what is she doing? I'm not telling you. It's a certain kind of driver she's talking about. It wasn't them either. <laughs> Maybe a new driver. I was so frustrated, though. So that's where my aggression comes out. I'm yeah. like, you're going to get me killed. Yeah. Like, let me just me get too. in front of you. Me too. Then I had, on my way home, I'm following someone in the left lane. They're going 60. Yes. I at least go 75. Right. Mm, 80. 90. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, boss. You know what? He's okay. Listening. Wait, listen. Let me finish, though. Okay. So I'm following <laughs> this person, and there's no one around. I'm like, oh, I'm just going to go around them. So I put my blinker on and go to the next lane, and they speed up. I'm I like, when and I wasn't even driving that. close to them. All right, your turn. Go ahead. I hate when people do that. <laughs> but if you're in a four lane highway, right? Mm-hmm. And you got, you know, from right to left, one, two, three, four. So in your, you're in the third lane, almost the all the way to the left lane. And you notice people are passing you on the left and the right. Move the fuck over. Yeah. Go two more over to the right. Yeah. 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 Go put that up with drive, the people merging. Because I'll stay, you know, either in, you know, either in the second or the third. <laughs> She's counting. I'm counting. <laughs> I'll stay in either the second or the third. The middle, the middle lanes. Right. And if I need to pass, then I pass on the left. Yes. Right? Yes. And now, I, some people don't agree with that. Some people say, you know, we're fast drivers. We just stay in the left lane. And that's fine. And people that are slower than us should move over to the right. Totally right. fine. That's fine. But that's what I do too. I always, you know, my driver's ed teacher also taught me to move my eyes every three seconds, yes. he said. Yes. So your road, mirror, road, speedometer, road, mirror, road, speedometer, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like you're constantly looking behind you. So if I see somebody's catching up to me, I will gladly move over. Yeah. You know, even if I am not even all the way in the left lane, mm-hmm. even if I'm only in the second lane, I will move over all the way to the mm-hmm. right if I see that I'm slowing somebody down. Nobody has that courtesy for me, God damn it. <laughs> so my question is, we're I'm very visual as well. I'm always looking, right? Yes. Front, back, whatever. I, I'm always I terrified of people. I know what's running happening into the back around me. me. Yeah. 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 Why are the cars around me surprised when everyone's braking? I don't know. Like I'm backing off. They're on my rear yeah. end. Yeah. They're flying yeah. past on each side. And I'm yeah. noticing yeah. in the front that we got a traffic jam. You see 10 cars ahead. They started they're braking. All brakes. So you're slowing you down. You see all yes. brake lights. That's what I do. If I see a brake light, I'm immediately starting to Slow down. Yeah, at least take your foot off the gas. Right. So everyone's still zooming past me and they're mad at me. And I'm just like, well, I'm going to see you in a second when you slam on your brakes. And (laughs) so, you know, I'm new to driving this year, right? Yeah. I never used to commute to work. Right. So I'm, I'm like, oh my God, is this how it's always been? This always. is crazy. It's a little bit crazier well, now. Well, I yeah. was talking to, you know, my mom mm-hmm, has been a mm-hmm. long time truck driver. And then we have a friend that lives up the street that's been a long time truck driver. My mom was pretty local, like, or she would travel far away to like North Dakota. Mm-hmm. You know, like, you don't have yeah. a lot of traffic on there. <laughs> right. But, you know, I mean, she did some city driving, but not, you know, like she rebuilt 90, I think, mm-hmm. like 20 years ago. But it was in the middle of the night, you know. But anyways, our neighbor up the road said in the last year he has never seen it be so crazy out yeah. there. Like, it's definitely intensified. Now people are getting back onto the road, and it's like those few essential workers that worked the whole time, 
that had free reign of the road that would do 100 miles an hour down mm-hmm, 90, mm-hmm. they're still trying to do that. And it's yeah. like there's 8,000 more cars on the road. Like, people need to freaking slow down. So what was your favorite thing about working in Delhi? <laughs> working with Shannon. Yeah. Back to Delhi. <laughs> I said she was honestly one of the But, like, the why, though? Let's, let's, let's teach everyone what a good manager is. Can yeah. you, like, explain what she would do or how she would train you she would just, or the team that you worked with? She would train everybody to know everything to like to the t yeah and she would make sure like everyone was cross-trained unlike some people knew how to stock some people knew how to order people would break down boxes go do the load boxes and mm-hmm. load and all of that did you ever have to work on the hot side making yeah. chicken wings i think and the stuff? last like two years yeah so she would like, she would train you to do that too oh, yeah. so yeah. especially yeah. on inventory she would make me in the mornings at like five six in the morning start the cold chicken so especially if someone called off you could be like i'm over there right. that's yeah. fine I was so smart. Is that people. not the smartest thing? You know, mm-hmm. I feel like managers, once again, I could be wrong. They only want to train you for a certain, because they're afraid that like, if you're really good at everything, then you would take their spot yeah. or something. I feel yeah. like sometimes that's what they, how they manage. Yeah. yeah. You know, where a good manager would do that, what Shannon does. Mm-hmm. Like, let me show you every single thing yeah. about this department. So if I'm off for a couple of weeks right. or I have surgery right. or I have to miss for a vacation, I don't come back to crap. You know, yeah. I feel like a lot of managers too think like, oh, they they can't they can't do all this. I, maybe maybe that's I what have it is. To do yeah, this. that's true. This is my job, and I not have because it's this. their personality. Maybe that's right. how they were trained. Yeah, you right. know. Yeah, and that's like I said when I worked at the gas station, I had a checklist, and that was all of us. You know, yes. And mm-hmm. I mean, down to ordering every Wednesday, you had to order. If I wasn't there. You needed to order, you know? Yep. So yes. I would always try to make sure everybody kind of knew how to do everything too. Mm-hmm. And then I would get really pissed because they'd be like, I don't know. I don't. Like they tried to pull that shit with me when I first started over there. Like, oh, well, I don't know. I don't we know how never to do trained. that. Well, you're going to learn today. Yeah. And you can never say that to me again. You yep. know? Yep. No yep. more excuses. I had a boss many, many years ago that said, always train your replacement yes. because you are not going to be in the same spot. Right. If you're aggressive and you want to move up, you got to have someone that's yep. ready to move up with you. Yep. Yep. And it's so true. Always think that. Yeah. Like if you're a manager listening right now, yeah. who is my replacement? Yeah. You don't know what's going to happen to you tomorrow. Right. You could you could cut a finger yep. or, you know, and have to be out for a couple of days. And then what? They're going to be calling and texting right. you when you really should be resting. No. Train someone that could easily replace you. Yeah. It doesn't mean that you're not going to have that right. job anymore. I and forgot that, about that manager saying that. That was yeah. always a good one. Yeah. yeah. Always a good one. Yeah. Just, and I, I have mean, to you're say, still the manager Shannon, at the end of the day. Like how many managers did Shannon get? Like- you know what I mean? That she trained these people and then sent and them off to up. other stores. Yes. I'm sure. Yeah. Once we get her on Probably here, we'll at find least out. A dozen. You if know. not, we'll ask Drew. He'll know. <laughs> Back in 2018, <laughs> <laughs> he'll know their middle names. He'll know everything about them. <laughs> well, Drew's one of them. He yes. is one of yeah. them. Yeah. I mean, and that's why he's so good at what he does, and that's yeah. why you're mm-hmm. so good at what you did. He taught me a lot too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That yeah. whole that whole team is just they're just on it. They just are. Even the, awesome. the night crew that maybe doesn't see her as often, right. they're just, they're good. Right. And you know, actually the, the place that I go to, that's a little more local to me, if um, they're the same way, they yeah. must have this, a similar manager yeah. where they can just take over and you can just tell, you can just tell the we, atmosphere. Yeah. We've talked about that before that like a lot of our employees in the area are loyal to where they're working mm-hmm. at. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they got, they must either they're getting paid really well, which I doubt, mm-hmm. or they have good managers, you know? Yeah. yeah. You know, I remember working at a store. I really liked the manager. I would meet with her. It would be fine. But she always had bad things to say about her team. And sometimes she would say it loud enough where I think they would hear it. Yeah. And you can't do that. Yeah. Like, oh, he can't do that. I'm not, I'm not yeah. going to show him how to do it. How do you know? Show him how to do it. Right, I have one produce chance. manager. Every time I walk in, I think he thinks I'm corporate or something. Mm. And he's like, man, it looks like shit in here. Man, sorry, it looks like shit in here. And I'm like, bro, you look fine. <laughs> you <know? laughs> yeah. I'm going to throw up some of this stuff over here for you. I'm going to do this for you. And then you should absolutely fine. act like you're corporate. <laughs> you should just start looking through all his Stop stuff and it. watch him follow you. No, That uh, happened today. I would tell people where I was from and you could see like, Kind of like the light bulb, you know, like, oh, wait, she's corporate, which I would never say that to anybody. Do you talk talk to our boss? (laughs) (laughs) I had one manager today. He goes, oh, man, sorry. I didn't realize you were corporate. Listen, here's what's going on today. (laughs) I'm like, you're fine. It's totally fine. You are corporate, though. Uh, Whatever. You're corporate. I don't use it. We dread you. We dread you walking into the store. (laughs) Sometimes I drop names. Sometimes. 
<laughs> but usually I don't ever say like, Hey, I'm for, you know, I just don't, I, yeah. I just, it's uh, cause I'm here to work. Yeah. Like I'm here to see what my stuff looks like. And then, you know what, if I don't like it, I'm going to fix it. Yeah. I'm not going to point at you and say, I'm going to need you to fix this. I'm out of here. Cause like, it ain't going to get have, done. Just have Cassandra do that the next no, time she's in. No, I do have an email for you later, but <laughs> no, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I did the work. I did the work. Yeah. Cause we were just talking about how yeah. I just missed you. You were right. there before me. Right. So I went in there and I was like, well, I got to switch this stuff around. There was like, the product was in the wrong spot, you know, just safety wise and stuff. So yeah. I just moved it all and did it myself. And we just talked about that and I still haven't done anything about it. Sorry. You suck. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's great. I love putting Rachel. The whole team is great. Food. I love the, I love the whole team. I was very sad to leave. I love that team. I know we mm-hmm. miss you too. Yeah. But that's okay. Mm-hmm. Bigger and better. So tell me about the rules and regulations of like feeling sick and working in Delhi. I always knew that there was like, if you did not feel well, right? For the most part, it was if you like had a runny nose or you had a cough, it was like, "Mm, you probably shouldn't come in. But if you had a boss like Shannon, she's like, suck it up. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) In a good way, of course. Of course. Yeah. 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 Yeah, You wonder now. Just not into that. Maybe they could just do that. (laughs) Well, they were like, if you have to cough, like, excuse yourself go wash your hands and then yeah yeah so i remember that she had to speak to someone that worked in delhi because he had two pairs of gloves on and he swept the deli yep remember exactly he swept the deli and then a customer walked up and instead of washing his hands he took off one layer of gloves and then went to the customer and i i I remember that she had to, he would wash his gloves and keep them on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the whole point of gloves is to take them off and start She had to do a whole, and this person is very smart and should have known better, but I don't know what his thinking was in that because he is very smart. Mm -hmm. And I remember her telling me that she had to. Uh -uh. (laughs) (laughs) I'll never say. Okay, so I remember talking about, like, biohazard and food. We had a cashier. I don't remember who the cashier was, but she was checking somebody out, and she must have hit her hand. You know, the craziest thing to me was there was lots of sharp edges at the register (laughs) that Mm. not only would cut your bread, destroy your eggs, poke open your bag of chips, but they would cut you, you know? Yeah. So she must have hit herself and didn't realize she started bleeding. And she's just checking this lady out, right? So the lady comes up to the service desk. She goes, I'm I'm really sorry. She goes, but I can't take any of this. Oh, There's blood all over no. it. And I was like, oh, my God. I'm like, hold on. First of all, stop. I go over there. I'm like, hey, you're bleeding, you know? And she's like, I am? Oh, my God. It's like all down. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. And so then I get back up to the service desk. I'm like, I am so sorry. She goes, I'm a nurse. Like, <laughs> and, you know, I get it. Like, Why didn't she, she just it? tell her? I don't know. Like, speak up. I don't know. You just let her bleed all over all these groceries. Now we have to throw all this out. I have to return. She has to reshop. $150 worth. Well, of you're stuff. really fast manually typing it, in all oh the UPCs. God. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. It was so crazy. I, and we had to, say like, toss so- all that food. The, okay. We've learned when we were five years old. See something, yeah. say something. Yeah. Right. It's so, I was like, oh my God. Do you know one <laughs> you time? you see it everywhere. How did she not realize she was bleeding everywhere? St- Steve tells this story all the time. There's a place that's like in, I don't know where, it's like in between where we live. And um, he, they walked in, him and his brother walked in and it was a hot dog stand. And the woman was like scratching a bad mosquito or something. Stop. Like she had stuff all over her hands. Like oh, maybe no. she was allergic to mosquitoes or just like to pick. And she was like, this was before gloves. And it's this probably was so poison many, ivy. many. Yeah. Yeah. And she was like scratching, scratching. She's like, can I help you? They were like, Nope. No. <laughs> and they turned around and went right back out. Oh, no. So obviously you can't help that kind of stuff, but right. then that's when yeah. you wear long sleeves or right. you just be aware, you know, Let's talk hygiene. Yeah. Let's talk hygiene. Because I have gross. a feeling you had someone on your team that was stinky. Ew. Very much. <laughs> yes. I, I think we all did at one point. Yeah. Can we let, you know what? I'm just going to turn this all around. We're going to talk hygiene because I know we did up at the customer service desk. I know I did in bakery and I know you guys did in Delhi. Yeah. So how do you even like approach this person 
and say that's hey, hard. You reek. It's very hard. Yeah, it I would is. Go to I've, and yeah, I'd be like, Sh- you need to do something. Like I can't. Yes. Yeah. First of all, you feel bad complaining. Right. right. Then, but your first thought is, do you know you stink? Right. Like, how do you not smell? We how had, do you not had, smell yourself? We had those two couple people. Yeah, up front we did. That, we had a couple. Yeah. I mean, we've. I and honestly, there's people at the stores now that I'm just like, how? It's can hard they? to have that conversation. Yeah, with it the is hard to have that conversation. But you have to have that conversation. Sick. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I know for sure there is some people that they don't wear deodorant. They use baby powder or whatever kind of yeah. talcum powder or something like that. They don't. So you just have to say it's their religion. They don't wear. I know that there's a few people in like the North Shore. Stop. That's It's their religion. <laughs> they don't believe in deodorant. They grow their hair out on their armpits. Oh I don't know what God. it is, but I know that sometimes they just don't. But then you don't put them in hot foods. If right. you interview someone mm-hmm. and they don't, you know, they walk in and they smell and it's not just like yeah. garlic on their breath. Yeah. Do not put them in hot foods. Yeah. No. Okay. So that reminds me because there was some, like somebody got hired for the deli. It was after you were gone, I'm pretty sure. And um, <laughs> he didn't stink. <laughs> But he coughed a lot. Oh. Like he had a constant cough. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that, I mean, that happens. But. Right. But you can't have this person just back there coughing all the time. Mm-hmm. And it was like he would just get like allergies. I don't know what it was. Mm-hmm. I think his girlfriend was a smoker and like he couldn't handle it. And so, yeah, like, she right, smoked right, in the right. House you got that and phlegm in the back of your throat. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. I think he started as I was leaving. I okay. Know. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And Shannon was just like, I can't fucking deal with this anymore <laughs> like you have to get them so where do they send them up front to cashier i was sitting outside smoking a cigarette one day and i could hear him walking to work he was so far away and, and coughing coughing on his way to work and i was like i feel i felt bad for that guy yeah because there was nothing he could do about yeah. it yeah you know i don't what do you do the guy would like eat hard candy, chew gum, eat lozenges all the time, and he would just constantly. Oh my gosh! Well, first you gotta ditch the girlfriend that smokes. I know <laughs> it wasn't like a phlegmy, gross cough either, like mine. But it wasn't like still, that. <laughs> someone like my husband who is a germaphobe would not go into yes. his lane, would not get the I'm pretty meat sure, sliced. Like, There's no way. Yeah, they got so many complaints. Like Shannon was like, I can't anymore. Like, yeah, <laughs> he has to go somewhere. Wear a mask before it was cool, dude. <laughs> yeah. Where to? So I've had to have the conversations about hygiene and yeah. those are very awkward. Yeah. And I mean, they're, I, I don't even, they're, I, they sit in the office and I keep the door open because oh. I just don't want to, you know, and how do you even start that conversation? So Ooh. we've had complaints. Like yeah. I wouldn't say it was team members. Yeah. I would usually say it was customers, you know, and it's like, you need to wash your clothes every day, but with that, you also need to and shower. And they would say, we don't have or, a washer and dryer. And I'd say, so get a bar of soap. Yeah. Fill up your bathtub. Scrub out your armpits and your crotch of yep. everything you uh, own. Yep. And hang it up over yep. the top of the tub. Mm-hmm. You get two days Well, you off guys only week. give me two shirts. I will give you two more. I will more. buy you two I more. I will <laughs> buy you two more. Go somewhere and find something that matches. I don't even care. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You need to make yeah. sure it's clean. I've bought team members pants before. Yeah. 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 Because they you show up in jeans. Well, I only have like two pairs, blah, blah, blah. Well, I you can't too. wear jeans. Mm-mm. So I go and buy them a pair of pants. You know what? That's funny. Yeah. I actually bought someone a pair of shoes because they stunk so bad. Yeah. They would walk to and from work in the rain, snow, whatever. Yeah. And I remember taking them over to the shoe department. I said, pick a pair out. Yeah. People are complaining. Yeah. And it was their feet yeah. that stunk so bad. Oh, it must have been my sister. No, <laughs> just kidding, Jen. We know Aww. you got stinky feet. Oh, Jen. <laughs> oh, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I remember having those conversations. It's not good. You need to wash your hair. You oh, need to terrible. use soap. It's yeah. like you're talking to... And, okay, so devil's advocate you can't blame them this is probably how they were taught i know not to shower i know i i have learned that people that do not have good hygiene yeah means that they were never taught as children right. maybe their parents were that way or whoever right. the guardians were like that so you do have to almost speak to them like yeah they're younger like yeah. you have to use soap mm-hmm. you have to shower you know, a few times a week, at least you work in hot foods or you sweat when you do the load. So you have to make sure you, you know, okay, well we don't have running water. All right. 
go get a bucket, go get yeah. a gallon of water, get a washcloth with some soap. You can figure this yeah. out and they don't know better. So you have to be very sensitive to that yeah. kind of situation. You can't yeah. just say, it is hard. You like, stink. yeah, you stink. Take a shower. Well, yeah. We have no running water. But when it's the second Ooh. and third time and they yeah. don't have an excuse, yeah. then it's like a little more harsh. Like yeah. you are getting complaints that you reek. Yeah. You know, did you shit yourself? Ew. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> You're like I just don't know how to wipe my butt. <laughs> yeah, uh, sometimes. So I swear to you, sometimes it smelled like they just uh, just shit and stood back stop up. Stop <laughs> it. They need a bidet. Oh, my gosh. They need more than that. There was someone in a department that I... I didn't, I didn't realize that they stunk. And I walked in and I was like, Hey, what's going on? And I looked around. I'm like, what stinks? What did you guys burn? And the one girl turns around with these big eyes and looks at me and it was whoever was next to her that stunk. And I'm like, Holy no. I walked right back out. Yeah. The whole back room stunk. You're so bad about putting your foot. In your Hell yeah, I do. I'm so used to it now. What stinks? <laughs> It's because oh, I have no filter. So I have no filter. I've never been like that. I would always just be like, hey, guys. Oh, smell. hell no. Who smells bad? I have no filter whatsoever. I'm going to tell you like it is. Oh, my God. Oh, it's man. so funny. <laughs> All right. Who didn't wipe? Uh, it was the worst when someone heated up Brussels sprouts in the microwave and back. No, you know what's bad? The I'm day like, after you eat farted? Brussels sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was probably them heating them up in the microwave and farting them from dinner the night before. <laughs> <laughs> what is that smell back here, guys? <laughs> Who's eating up the Brussels sprouts? Oh, my God. Who burnt the popcorn? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the worst. Actually, I think I'd rather smell burnt popcorn than armpit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's for yeah. sure. I or agree. like crotchaloo. <laughs> crotchaloo. <laughs> <laughs> Wash your crotchaloo, boo boo. <laughs> oh, sick. <laughs> oh, sick. <laughs> I think you say sick. that to everyone. You're like, ah, oh, sick. sick. <sighs> That's our word. That's, <laughs> oh, God. We can, we I, just, <laughs> I just want to say Brianna just came for her free reusable bag. <laughs> <laughs> She's just here laughing in the background. She's like, give me my cling. Give me the bag. I'll speak a little bit and I'm out. You caught me. <laughs> Or like we're talking the whole time and she's just like hee 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 in the background for her free coupons for her snacks. <laughs> she just really wanted a cling to go on her car so she can represent. I keep saying, go ahead, you can talk. You know, we keep talking over. She's like, no, she's it's like, not no, me. Cool. I just want to hang out with you guys, see how you did it. I'm so excited to be here. I know, it's so fun. Well, we love, we love when people come to visit. We love it. I know. Even if we're you just booked out. say nothing. Yeah. Yeah, like this, one, like this one over here. We got another one. There's actually four of us here, but we you have can only hear three of us. Tonight. Yeah, we do. I love it. Speaking of, we really should become like, we should get some live audiences. Get out of here. <laughs> I keep telling her that I want to do some live events. Now all right. That okay. We're all okay. Wait, vaccinated wait, wait, wait. And- We're going to do a vote on Facebook on this episode. Right? All right. I'll so remember. Which Let me episode write it down. is this? 18? Yes. 18th episode when it releases in three weeks or whatever yep. from today. Yep. We have to do a vote on Facebook. Would you show up to a live show? Yeah, right. I'm, I'm going to say curious. if 100 people like that post and share it, then we can do a live show. I'll be the first That's one to like and share. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? We got people that live in and listen in all different countries. We do. We have so. 14 countries. I saw yeah. that. It's amazing. Yeah. That is so cool. Yeah, what is the rules again? Tell me one more time. It's 100 likes and... Shares. Okay. Of a post that I'm going to put about of going. A post a that bit, you're going to put. About being live. About being about live. About going live. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Live like in person, not just live oh like. God. Yeah, not like we're just here <laughs> I'm live. I'm not ready for live in person. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Oh God. All right. Do it. Thanks, do everybody. It. All right. Bye, Have guys. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye. Woo. This podcast is brought to you by Nametag Productions, LLC. Entire podcast, unless otherwise stated, written by the hosts. Drums, written and performed by my son, Stephen. The Klopin Effect, a retail podcast. If we have to be all in this together, we might as well make it fun.